Katie from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome to our channel. It's Monday, that means we're back with another grocery haul, a meal plan, and a fun new question of the day. I have gone to Kroger and done my very best to stay under my budget and cook more from my pantry and freezer. I've got the groceries and the meal plan for you. Be sure to stick around for the end. We're starting off a month of questions leading up to the biggest food holiday of all, Thanksgiving here in the U.S. Back from Kroger, I do believe this is the smallest haul I have ever had and ever shared. I am resolved to try to use more of my pantry and freezer and I'm warming up for after the holidays. I'm going to do a pantry challenge in January. I'm trying not to overbuy and use what I have. So I just got the necessities real quick. I got some juice. I had a coupon for this kind of squeeze sour cream. I don't normally buy it and I will put the prices below. A couple things of cheese for recipes and to cook with along with some eggs. I also had a coupon for the sodas that I like to drink some K-Cups, had a coupon for the blue plate and it was also on sale so I doubled up. One can of tomatoes for the pantry. I had a coupon to save. I think it was a dollar if I spent four or five on produce. I probably would not have gotten the grapes otherwise but they were on sale this week. Some lettuce for salads. Nothing else to go in them. The salads are pretty bland these days unless they're the harvest salad. The mangoes and the avocados were on sale this week at my Kroger for 69 cents. The zucchini, I think, was $1.19 a pound. Don't forget your free Friday download. Last Friday's was a free Chobani flip. And since I'm a chocoholic, I picked chocolate haze craze. And even though I have homemade yogurt in the refrigerator that I've made in my Instant Pot, these two salted caramel wees were marked down, and they're good until November 13th, so they will keep a week. Very small haul, very quick haul. I've got the meal plan and a question for you next. And I forgot, I will put the winner of last week's Price is Wrong at the bottom. I gotta go look it up. My brain is not what it used to be. This week's menu is heavy on using the pantry and the freezer. I'm trying to be better about that and get ready for a pantry challenge that I've got coming up. Sunday we had some leftovers, some snacks during the game, and then a quick breakfast food for supper. Monday, I'm going to use some General Tso's chicken that I got at Sam's. We'll do rice and some kind of Asian sides. Tuesday, I am trying a new recipe for ravioli casserole. If you've watched our Sam's Club haul, that's those mac and cheese raviolis that I bought. We'll do salad and bread. Wednesday, I've got to be gone a lot, and so I'm going to institute something I'm going to call quick night, which will either be soup, salad, sandwich, something that doesn't produce a lot of leftovers, and something that's pretty quick and easy to make. Thursday is the designated day for leftovers. Friday, I'm also going to utilize my freezer. I've got some French dip leftover. We'll do French stick sandwiches and fries. And the weekends are always up for grab. We may be out, pick up food while we're out. There will probably be leftovers or plenty of food here. So that's a quick look at the menu. I've got a question for you next. This week's question is the first of three leading up to Thanksgiving. This one's one we were going to ask, and it was also offered by our viewer, Shamar. Shamar, thank you, and I hope you're feeling better these days. Shamar would like to know, and we would also like to know, what kind of meat do you have at Thanksgiving that your meal revolves around? Do you go traditional with uh, turkey or ham? Do you do something non-traditional, maybe prime rib or spaghetti or lobster? Leave us a comment and let us know. Shamar said that they do Cornish hens in their house. And we usually do turkey in ours. We're pretty traditional. So leave us a comment. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful and blessed day, y'all.